Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, Doc Overclock. Today we welcome you to part three of our performance tuning reviews, Overclocking. Follow along as we go into the ASUS P6858D Premium Motherboard and adjust the BIOS settings to adjust this Intel i7-980 CPU to 5.1 gigahertz. Let's do this. When using an ASUS motherboard, the AI tweaker is where you're going to use most of your adjustings at. I loaded the XMP profiles for our Kingston uh, KHX uh, 2000 memory, and with that XMP profile, it gave a memory setting of 991027 1.70. We changed some of those profiles. We actually adjusted a few, but the main things you're going to do for overclocking are the CPU ratio setting. This is basically the, how many times your CPU clock is. That, in conjunction with the B-lock frequency, which is a memory, determines your overclocking. So it's basically this number times this number equals the number on the top of the screen. To get our overclocking, I increased the CPU ratio to 36.0 and the B-lock frequency to 1.42. These are small soul adjustments that I did. I increased the CPU voltage to 1.60 for stability of the CPU. I left the QPI and DRAM core voltage at 1.40. As you can see up here in the profile, it sets it at 1.70, but I changed it down to 1.40 because all of the newer CPUs actually have an adjustment to this. Um, I believe that, that Kingston will be fixing this in their new version of the XMP profile, but we adjusted it manually ourselves. Also. The last adjustment I made was the DRAM bus voltage. This is what controls the bus that controls your memory. By overclocking this, it helps make the memory a little bit more stable. You have to be careful with this particular setting though, because this setting could actually fry your motherboard. So be careful here. Another place that you might do some overclocking in here is in the advanced screen in the CPU configuration. When you're doing a lot of overclocking, you're probably going to want to go in here and disable the uh, HT technology. The hyperthreading technology was the only thing that was holding me back from actually getting to 5.1. As soon as I disabled that, I had no problem getting the CPU up to the next highest level. You can also change the CPU ratio setting here as well. But being that you can do that in the previous screen, as I said in the AI tweaker, it's kind of redundant. So saying all that, basically what you do is you set your XMP profile in your memory, you make a few adjustments to the CPU ratio and the B-lock frequency, and if you want to get extreme overclocking, you have to go down and make some adjustments to your CPU voltage and, once again, to your DRAM bus voltage. So, now we're going to exit out of here and we're going to take you to the Windows screen where we show you the CPU stable at 5.1 GHz, which is a really good thing. We'll keep the camera rolling and you can actually see how fast this actually really does boot into Windows as well. Once again, special thanks to our sponsors at Kingston, ASUS, and Thermaltake for providing their support. As you can see, we boot at 5.1 gigahertz. We're now starting Windows. I have a couple apps running in the background. I have ASUS Smart Doctor for their ASUS 5870 uh, tweaked out video card we're using here. This is what their little window looks like. I've got Steam running in the background. We download a lot of games. We're doing game testing. So we're going to cancel out of this. First thing I'm going to show you is CPU ID. As you can see in CPU ID, I have the core speed running at 5.109 megahertz. A lot of people ask about the Heaven benchmark. So here we're going to run the Heaven 2.0 benchmark. Let's take a look at this. It's actually quite beautiful. And look how well it runs at this overclock speed. Very nice detail. Check out the grass coming up right here. All of the nice qualities in the grass. Great detail here. 
Now, just let you people see the benchmark. I'm going to X out of this real quick. And I'm actually going to run the benchmark version of this. So give me a second here as I go back into it. Now, as you can see in the corner, we're actually benchmarking this. My frames per second are 26.2. Minimum frames per second has been 20.6. Maximum frames per second, 33.7. So as you can see, this system is completely and totally stable at 5.1 gigahertz. So okay, now you can see how really e easy it is to overclock. One of the advantages that we have right now though is our new Acetec Vapor Chill Light Speed. This features a custom made low temperature compressor by Dan Voss. Now, this is one of our main advantages because we can run our CPU at actually 40 below zero at this overclock state. So, you people at home who are doing air, you might not get that great of examples. You're using water, you're a little bit better. We'll try to cover those areas as well, but as you can see, going into the BIOS, making a few BIOS changes with any of the high-end Intel CPUs that are unlocked is really easy to do. We thank you here at Tech of Tomorrow, and we'll check you out in our next video.